I'm Angela Sharp, and welcome to The Daily Mix. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. You know, it was a great, beautiful weather weekend, right? And it was a great time to kind of get outside and enjoy it. Hopefully, you were able to go outside and enjoy the weather. Maybe you headed out to your favorite St. Louis City Park to celebrate 10-10-2020 day on Saturday. We did. It was really great to see people out and enjoying the amazing green spaces we have throughout the city. There was even free yoga hosted by Collective STL at a few of the parks. If you want to, you can share your experience on social media using the hashtag 10102020day. How fun is that? I actually had a lot of fun this weekend because my brother and my sister-in-law invited me to come out with them and my niece and my nephew to Grant's Farm. Grant's Farm, look how fun this photo is, by the way. I also, it looks like I'm another child that my brother and sister-in-law had because I'm sitting in between my niece and my nephew. And that's my niece. She dressed up like a mermaid to go through the fun activities there. And my nephew, of course, was Spider-Man. By the way, the costume, when he looks at you dead in the eye, super creepy. But Grant's Farm was so much fun. So they have got different like Halloween decorations throughout Grant's Farm, which is so fun to look at. And I think you have to go with kids because kids really kind of get into it like, oh, look at that and how many pumpkins and are those real pumpkins? And I mean, that was just a ton of fun. I know Grant's Farm said they were sold out already through October 31st, but they were looking to possibly expand into November. So you should check that out because it was a ton of fun, so much fun. A little bit later on in the show, I'm gonna have Pia Renee on. She is a local artist. She does this really cool thing with beats and vibes where she paints while people put on music. I'm gonna let her tell you all about it. So keep it right here and let's get started on today's Daily Mix. the pandemic, the St. Louis County Library Foundation continues to connect readers with their favorite authors from a variety of genres. The author events are currently being held virtually, as most things are, and next week they'll be featuring author Reed Forgrave and his new book, Love Zach, Small Town Football and the Life and Death of an American Boy. It's a moving true story of Zach Easter and the traumatic brain injury he suffered as a high school athlete. The virtual event premieres next Wednesday, October 21st at 7 p.m. You can visit slcl.org slash contact slash read for grave for all the details. Just go to their website. That's probably the best way to find it. The annual St. Louis County Greek Fest returns this weekend. And of course, they're gonna have a socially distant twist. Starting today, you can place an online order for your favorite Greek foods for pickup during the festival. Now they're offering a variety of plated dinners and individual items. They'll have appetizers and desserts and everything in between. Orders can be picked up curbside this Friday, October 16th through Sunday, the 18th between 11 and eight at Assumption Greek Orthodox Church. To browse the online menu and place your order, visit stlgreekfest.com. Now, if you are looking for some fun entertainment while enjoying your Greek fair, this Sunday, you can click or treat with St. Louis Magazine and St. Louis Children's Hospital as they host the third annual Pumpkin Wars, the chefs versus the surgeons pumpkin carving competition and all fall festival, that's all gonna go virtual this year. Like I said, most things are going virtual this year. So you can tune in and see who comes out on top. Last year, the surgeons took the type prize. So you know, the chefs, they wanna take the winning prize this year. The event will also feature a kids carving photo contest, safety tips for carving, a vendor marketplace, and more. Pumpkin Wars will take place a Sunday, October 18th at 1 p.m. You can register for free at scmag.com. Now, I wonder if Pastoria's Gerard Kraft will be competing in Pumpkin Wars. I don't think he is, but you know what? 
I do know that he'll be cooking in the Operation Food Search Kitchen next week. He's gonna be offering a virtual cooking class for a great cause. Pasta for Packs will benefit Operation Food Search's Operation Backpack Program. During the inactive event, Chef Kraft will show beginners and foodies alike how to make a delicious dinner with meal kits from his Clayton restaurant. The class will be held next Wednesday, October 21st from 7 to 8.30, and the meal kits can be picked up ahead of time at Pastorias or Operation Food Search. You can register and learn more at operationfoodsearch.org. If you're like me, you love cars, and I mean really love cars. I've been actually having good luck finding unsponsored car shows throughout this COVID season. Obviously, they've mostly been unsponsored because nobody wants to have a group of people. Anyway, this car show that I'm gonna tell you about, it's sponsored, so you need to mark your calendar for the upcoming Triad Nights Hockey Car Show. They're gonna have concessions, a 50-50, a raffle for $500, and so much more. And of course, cars, tons and tons of cars. Now, if you have a car you'd like to enter, it's not too late. The top 20 winners will receive plaques, and all cars that pre-register will receive a dash plaque. The Triad Nights Hockey Car Show will take place on Saturday, October 24th at Tri Township Park in Troy, Illinois from 10 to 3. You can pre-register by emailing triadhockeyvp at gmail.com. Do it. Let's do it. Let's all go have some fun with some cars. Now you can round out your day by kicking back and relaxing with some wine and jazz under your roof. Join Classic 107.3 for a virtual happy hour event from the comfort of your own home. Tickets include online entertainment, three bottles of wine, and appetizers delivered to your door. There's gonna be raffle items and a lot more. Proceeds for the event will benefit Classic 107.3 and its mission to support classical music and the arts in our region. Wine and Jazz Under Your Roof takes place Saturday, October 24th at 6 p.m. For tickets and more information, visit classic1073.org slash wine and jazz. You guys, recently I got to do something so much fun. I got to fly. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so there's something in St. Louis called On The Fly, and they are teaching people, any people, how to do silks. You know, those are those cool things. Also, they're having you fly back and forth across the stage, like Tinkerbell. Peter Pan, probably, but I like Tinkerbell better. Or like the giant, like, rings. I think they had a name for those, but I don't remember what it was. Anyway, it was a ton of fun. I'm gonna let you check out my latest adventure. Check this out. So I'll show you Whee! Well, that's petrifying. You found your <laughs> but that is, uh, it's petrifying. Back where you came from. There you go. Back where I came from. And you can step on down. Oh, okay. That was, that was scary. And then you're just arching forward. Yeah. Oh, wee! This does whatever it wants to do. Wee! Okay, that was scary. <laughs> and then you just coming right back up and stepping back down from the back. That's it. Oh, see, that I can handle. That's it. That was, that was all right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rachel's done some stuff before, so I told her, like, <laughs> Just so you know she's not just, like, random. <laughs> Wee. Okay. That was, you got it? that was what it was. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm so excited. We got Jennifer Reagan, the, uh, one of the owners here at On The Fly. First of all, for somebody who doesn't, knows nothing about this, what can you tell them about On The Fly? Well, 
basically, in a nutshell, if somebody needs to go in the air, we say yes. We are a yes and company. We do everything from Peter Pans for our elementary schools all the way to Broadway and cruise ship shows. So anybody's in the air, we want to get them hooked on flying. We love it. This is so fun. And you have a couple locations in the St. Louis area where you're actually doing classes for right. people who maybe aren't that good at this sort of thing. Absolutely. We just had an adult class last night that every single one of them were brand new and had never done it before. And we told them they were already winning just for showing up. This is our track system. Okay. And we have what's called a mechanical advantage. So we use this weight to uh, to create a mechanical advantage of four to one. Okay. So these ropes, if we put them all together, we then have a one to one. So I'm lifting all of your body weight. Right. If I pull just one rope, I'm using a four to one. So I'm I'm lifting a quarter of your weight. Okay. But the, the trade-off is that if I want to take you one foot into the air with this, I have to pull four feet of rope. Oh. So the, the give and take is that it might be lighter, but you have to pull so much more You have more to pull rope. more, right. Right. Whoa, okay. So that's a little bit about our mechanical events there. And then we have our travel operation here. Okay. So if I pull this rope, it will create the trolley above you to move over on the track system. Oh, okay. So if I pull up this one, then it tr pulls it that way. So this one pulls this way, that one pulls, pulls that, that way. way. One, okay, we're going up. Oh, okay. All right, this is totally, okay? I feel all right. Yeah? A, li a, little, a little scared. Okay, look at me flying. <laughs> Whee! This is so yeah. scary. Yay! Whee! Okay, this is actually really cool. This is really cool. <laughs> Big wings? Oh, like a fairy? Yeah. <laughs> one one there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that, that was scary, but awesome. Whee! That was so much fun. I loved flying up in the air like that. I definitely think you should check out On The Fly if you're in the area. Yeah, you can see now I'm in my magical Zoom box because I have artist Pia Renee with me right now. Great to have you here. Thank you, thank you so much. Now, I have to be completely honest. I am really not that great with art, but I saw some of the artwork that you're drawing on the walls here at STL TV but you are actually have been showcasing a lot of different places. Kind of fill us all in on where you've been. Uh, okay, so um, I've been doing, I've been doing shows for like maybe like a year, two years now um, when I started doing it, the first one. It actually all gets mixed up, but I've been in Kans shows in Kansas City um and then mostly st louis i had a show i was gonna go to toronto before covid but that that got canceled so. covid really messed <laughs> up a lot of people's plans yes. you can tell me a little bit about this art beat art what what is this it it's a really cool production and event that happens um we try to do it at least once a month but with covid sometimes it's not always like that but um, my friend Tim, he goes by Tim Madman, he's a producer and it's basically his his show, his gathering, and it's a variety of different producers and they display their beats. And I actually attended it one time when I had the idea, I was like, I enjoyed the show so much, I was like, I should paint live. Like, and I just talked to Tim after the show and told him my idea. And then the next show that we did, I brought my easel and my paints and we did it and it came to life. So it was really cool. I mean, that's kind of, you have to really kind of be in the moment, right? In order to paint live in front of everybody while music is happening? Yeah, so it's definitely strengthened my creativity in a sense because it's like it's a challenge you know 
Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna paint before. I just kind of go off of what's going on and how I'm feeling or how other people around me are feeling and I just project that onto a canvas. Um, the shows aren't that long, like they're only a couple hours, so uh, the work comes out looking different. Uh, it's usually more abstract, you know, because I don't have time to sit there with like a paintbrush and it makes it more entertaining too. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what is your background? Like, when did you discover that maybe you were really good at art? Like, when did you start to realize that this is something you could do? So I've always, that's like such a hard question for me to answer because I've always made art in a sense, but there was definitely a switch in me that was like, I'm going to take this seriously and I'm going to pursue it and just start calling myself an artist. And that's really what it was. Like when people would ask me, uh, well, what do you do? Like what, what's your job or whatever? I, would, I used to answer like, oh, I'm a student or oh, I'm waitressing here and just doing whatever odd jobs. And, but I was always still doing art. And then I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna cut that out and start saying I'm an artist. And when I started leading with that, that's when everything in my life just aligned that way. It was like, okay, you're an artist, so. I love that. Well, what's new for you? What's coming up? I mean, I know COVID's kind of put a damper on a lot of things, but what do you have? maybe in the future coming up? I'm gonna tattoo, ah, so many words. I'm gonna tattoo apprentice at SCL Inc. too. Um, so you're gonna be able to put your artwork on people's bodies. Yes, exactly. It's it's a new medium to learn for sure. Well, no, I think that's awesome. Like if somebody is watching right now and they wanna kind of keep up with you and follow what you're doing, how can they like find out where you're gonna be next or, or keep up with your artwork? So I primarily post all of my work on Instagram. Um, my handle is pia.renee, and then I have a website also where you can purchase prints. But Instagram is the best way. I post every day. <laughs> Instagram, Instagram's the best way to follow you, so everybody needs to go in and check you out. Yes, do it. Yes, do it. Well, Pia, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me here today. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. And after you guys check out Pia and all her Instagram artwork, you can find out where she's going to be on her website. And then after that, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can even drop us a line at the Daily Mix at stltv.net. We want to hear from you. That is going to do it for the Daily Mix, but keep it right here on STL TV and experience St. Louis. See you next time.